Okay. Let's go check things out. Well, you know what? We can just check right from here. Let's do that so that stops blinking at me. Journal. Uh, after talking to Rex on Actus, find Rex's armor. Hiding at a base somewhere in the Argus Rogue Cluster. Oh, I should probably go do that. We're not done with this one. Finished Crime Lords, you've killed one. Now let me take a second. Um, yeah, all, all we have left that we can really do is <clears throat> the hostile takeover and Rex's family armor. Okay, so again, let's look here. Argus Row. Hiding on a base near the Argus Row Cluster. Here we go. Okay. to be checking all these to see if we can land anywhere. Already read all these before. Oh, I remember coming here. Hmm. I wonder if it's Metco's. We were just here yesterday, I think. Either yesterday or the, or the day before. Transponder signal. Korean wreckage, escape pod. We must have checked this out, right? <clears throat> Let's see. Unless I'm totally off base and this actually isn't where... Oh, area map just got updated. Hmm. I've obviously gotten this already. But why would my area map update? That's what's kind of strange about all this. Why would that have updated? Oh, you told it to? Why? Hmm. haven't come across it. Oh man, um, I just remembered one of the games that I've played in the last year that I didn't play on stream. Uh, it was the first Hitman game I've ever played, but have you ever played Hitman Absolution? Or any of the Hitman games at all? I 
It was all right. You have not. It was very cinematic. Um, I don't know. Like, it seemed like a story that's been told a billion times, but like, the character is cool, but just. I guess it's one of the weaker entries into the Hitman franchise. It was the first time I. Uh, the first one I'd played. But that was fun to play through. It was quick. I played that earlier this year, I think in like February or something like that. I think I actually own some of the other Hitman games, I just haven't gotten around to playing them. Hmm. This is getting very disappointing. You know, I wonder if maybe it's actually around, like, uh, where one of the main quest objectives is. Getting a warning to stay away from the peeps I want to kill? Uh-oh. Is it telling you, like, warning? They are way high level for you. Is it like, no, 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 you can't go any further! Turn back, uh -oh. Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. Don't don't they try to shoot you or something? If you stay in this area for too long. No, just my guardian saying that I should stay away, and they are hunting you. Your guardian? You mean like Jiminy Cricket? All right, we're... Oh, nice. You get injected with a parasite and these this person is using powers to stop you from transforming. Oh, they are your guardian. So you've been infected by the mind flare or mind flares. Let's see. Pretty sure I've, I already got whatever this is. Yeah, that's another probe. All right, we're out of here. It must be what I was thinking. Um, it said around Argus Row. You know what? If I talk to Rex, will he tell me? No, I don't think so. I think at this point we need to go to either Novaria or Pharaohs. I think maybe where they want us to go for Rex is here at Novaria. But, I'm gonna, but I want to go to Pharaohs first because I like Novaria better. <laughs> We're going to go to Pharaohs. Well, there's a couple. There's Hercules. Hercules, Hercules. So maybe we can check that other system too to see like message coming in. Hmm. Patching it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. 
One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go ground side and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. Okay, sir. Zatoris. Zatoris is a hydrogen helium gas giant with high level decks of sulfur clouds. A layer of hydrocarbons has formed deeper in the atmosphere. Vast electrical storm fronts can be seen flickering across the dark side. The dark side. Uh, while scanning this planet, you detected a large deposit of gold on a nearby moon. Elitania. Warning, level one toxic hazard. El Elitania appears to be a world eminently suited for colonization. Sadly, appearance appearances are deceiving. It is covered by a verdant carpet of mosses, algae, and lichen, and possesses a thick exo uh, oxy oxygenated atmosphere. But the animal kingdom is a web of microscopic symbiotic creatures. These are impossible to filter from the air and necessary for the native to life to thrive. Unfortunately, they also cause anaphylactic shock when inhaled by non-native life. In short, settlement requires either fully sealed environment suits or replacement of the entire world's ecosystem. Some have proposed limited co colonization at altitudes above the symbiote's range or in areas where favorable winds keep the air clear. That's pretty cool. We're not going to land there quite yet. But that's uh, good to know. Uh, sighted. The proximity of the energetic star Hercules causes constant blue and violet aurora in Sided's nitrogen argon atmosphere. During periods of increased solar flares, the aurora are bright enough to read by on the surface and can be seen with off-the-shelf optics from a distance of several AU. Sided scorching hot surface is mainly composed of magnesium with deposits of iron. A sparsing variety of simple carbon-based life flourishes in a complex network of cave systems that wind through the crust, protected from Hercules' heat, Hercules's heat and radiation. Um, Dallin recovered. Discovered. Uh, Chief Engineer Adams conducted several detailed sweeps of the area and detected a few items of interest, including a League of One medallion encased in lead molding. Zatheron. Zatheron is a small rock planet with a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. The surface is scorching hot. It mainly composed of sulfur with deposits of boron. All right, let's go to Elitania. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, take these two out. Beautiful skies. Okay. Oh, nice. It dropped us off right at the bottom. Uh, let's go. Let's go west. Let's start to the west here. Looks really cool up there. Hmm. This is bigger than I thought. Go, 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 go. Oh, what do we have here?
No, you're going backwards. Okay. Run up there. Prothean ruin. Mysterious globe. Examining the strange Prothean artifact reveals a small regular slot on the underside. Remembering the strange trinket you received from the Asari consort on the citadel, you pull it out and place it into the slot. The ball explodes in a brilliant flash of white light, momentarily blinding and disorienting you. Slowly, your senses return as you wake from a deep sleep. You are alone in the forest, though you are not far from the caves you share with the others of your tribe. There is a pain and a small lump in the back of your skull as if a chip of flint had been has been forced under the surface of the skin. Leaning on your bone-tipped spear for support, you rise to your feet. A sound draws your attention upwards where a strange creature hovers high above you. It is unlike the birds you hunt by the lake's edge. It has no head and no wings, yet somehow it flies. It is a beast of shining silver, hanging motionless in the sky like a cloud. You sense it. Uh, you sense it is watching you, studying you. Raising a hairy, hairy fist, <laughs> you shake your spear as it, at it in anger, and the creature rises up quickly until it disappears from view. With a satisfied grunt, you make your way back to your caves and the rest of your tribe. You fall into the familiar patterns of life, the hunt for food, the struggle to claim and keep a mate, the battles against other tribes that would claim your territory. Days roll into nights and back into days. Each time you rise from sleep, there is the sensation that you are not alone, that some other is with you sharing all you see, hear, and feel. At these times, your hand goes to the strange lump at the back of your skull and you remember the silver creature in the sky. The air grows colder, winter falls. You must range farther for food, clutching the furs tight against you to ward off the chill. It is in one of these long hunts that the strange bird returns. You hear it before you see it. It's it's call a deafening roar as it descends from above, swooping down on you. A single great eye opens on the underbelly, a glowing red orb. You try to run, but a finger of red light extends from the eye and engulfs you and all goes black again. <clears throat> you wake an instant later to find yourself on Elatania lying on your back, the Prothean artifact looming above you, undamaged, and your companions standing over you. They help you to your feet, puzzled. There was a flash of light and you just sort of toppled over, one explains. Are you okay, Shepard? The other asks. You don't answer right away, wondering at the implications of what you have seen. The memories of a cro magnon hunter captured by an implanted Prothean data recorder. Wait. Captured by an implanted Prothean data recorder. How long did they study the primitive humans, observing them and analyzing the results at their base on Mars? And what, if anything, did they learn from us? I'm fine, you finally reply, replying... Or Realizing this is a mystery you will probably never solve. Forget about it. <laughs> okay. Cool story. Cool story, bro. Well, there's that. So whatever the Asari gave us at the beginning, uh, the consort, that's what it unlocked. Not entirely sure what that actually does in the game, but if it, if, if it affects anything, I don't ever remember getting it. My other playthroughs. Come on. Okay. Gotta take the long way. It's too bad that this is, uh, basically an inhospitable or an uninhabitable planet for us. This is a pretty cool place. Pretty hilly and rocky, but I do like the ones that are very, very green. They're very visually appealing.
All right. What is this, thorium? Let me out. Palladium. Okay. Let's go a little bit north and then we'll head east. Alright, we got some debris over here. Alright, that was already on the map though, so... Nothing new there. Alright, nothing to see here. Make our way to the debris. <laughs> Crash probe. Whoops, not not what I meant to do. Eat this. Nope, not <laughs> eat this. <laughs> Mako, eat this. Check this out over here. We have a wide open field. Oh, there's something of interest over here. That was not actually on the map. Oh. It's monkeys. Hey, hey, they're the monkeys. Mr. Monkey. The monkey does not have the module. The module, huh? <laughs> El Maju. Watch it be on the last one. Also, I don't know what module they're actually talking about. He dropped the data module! Ah! It's a miracle the data module is still intact. Joker can transmit this info to Alliance Command. Oh, yeah, okay. That's, that's what the mission was. 
Was one of the monkeys stole the uh, stole the module? Finally, some action. Who's here? That's right, and we wanted to get it before the Geth got it. Shields disabled. Ow. Holy, that guy's big. Where is this guy? Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. He missed, thank goodness. Got him. Some sniper you are. I'm the true I'll sniper. I don't think I checked both areas over here. All the monkeys are gone. Armageddon 7. Rip monkeys. I didn't kill them though. It wasn't my fault. It was the Geth. We can blame the Geth. Always rip monkeys. Uh, always pushing the blame on each other. Hey, no. Um, my job is to. Whoops. Huddle up is to lay the blame properly. We have to have a class trial to figure out who to blame. <laughs> a body has been found. <laughs> oh, well, that was nice. Oh, look at all the X's that showed up. Monkey colony, engine debris. Does do we actually have to like do anything with the monkeys? Duh. I wonder if they're they're kind of. Personally, oops. I would have just thrown a rock at him. <gasps> Renegade. Remind me to stay on your. Did you see that? It gave me renegade points because I tapped one of them. He got in my way. <laughs> no. I'm not going to allow that. <laughs> it shouldn't have been there. I know. It saw me moving. It knew what was going to happen. And yet it was just like... I'm I'm just in here because I can. Jerky monkey. So that's a pretty easy way to get easy renegade points, huh? <laughs> Is just like drive over a bunch of monkeys. Got to be careful. Don't want to run over any monkeys. Don't get in my way. Look at this place. It's so nice looking. Ooh, there's a mineral over here.
gold. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Dude, I have an insane amount of credits now. <laughs> I can remember being at the beginning at the beginning of the game and struggling just to get like a few thousand. Hmm, is this on the ground? Yeah, this is a uh, a probe. Oh, couple of dead monkeys. Who did this? Can I not? Can I, Can I actually not get anything from here? The heck? I hear flies. Maybe it's something up there? No, that's not going to do it. I guess that's it. There's nothing here, though. Hmm. Okay. Continue south. I'm pretty sure this is just another monkey colony here. Yep. Let's not run them over, though. Yep. I don't know what the point of going to the monkey colonies is. Can I look at their pods or whatever? No? Yeah, it's weird. Unless they're just totally there like, hey, you want some renegade points? And then they kind of mark them on your map so you can have at it pretty easy. Whoa. Dude, Mako racing would be so cool. Would it? It would. It would though. And if and if you don't think it would, then um you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> this car is the Mako thing, yes, and how dare you call it a car? It is a multi terrain vehicle. This is a high tech piece of equipment a car listen to you car you like talk about it like it's a Toyota Corolla or something not gonna go to Pharaoh's yet I go here oh darn oh uh, yeah Stratus part of my ignorance oh advanced one yes I'm teaching you of the many things that are super important. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thessal gone. A standard hydrogen helium gas giant. Thessal gone's atmosphere is tinted blue by traced quantities of methane. Some of these I feel like they didn't even try to like flesh out what they are. Like they're just like, we got tired of riding these. <laughs> oh, there's an unknown. MSV Majesty. 
Darwin. It would not be fun because you'd just be shot. What? No, no, you wouldn't get. You don't shoot a Mako. You know? Zawin has a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. The surface is frozen and mainly composed of cobalt with deposits of copper. Planet side conditions are hazardous, which, with constant ice storms racking the surface. It has a gun. Yeah, but we would totally not use the guns. That's cheating. Trellin is a lifeless rock with a trace atmosphere of xenon and krypton. Its surface contains large amounts of iron and magnesium silicates. Due to heavily cratered terrain, starships are discouraged from landing. A Salarian religious cult claims that a certain pattern of overlapping craters in the southern hemisphere resembles their goddess. It would be against the rules, but it's, it would still happen. And then you know what? They would lose. And how embarrassing is that? They would lose. Anatara is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of ammonia. Hydrocarbons in the atmosphere lend it a distinct brown tint. Like poop. Helium 3. Uh, Yunthoral. Yunthoral? Shrouded by a thick atmosphere of complex hydrocarbons, Yunthoral has never been fully mapped. The surface is hot and completely covered by a glo global ocean of liquid hydrocarbons. There are indications of prim primitive organic life developing deep within the global ocean. We got a League of One medallion. Let's go here. Go to the Majesty. We're going to scan. Wait. Uh, it is a Kowloon class modular conveyor of human design. The ship is a derelict. All compartments are exposed to space, and the fusion plant is leaking. Damage is con is consistent. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, consistent. It looks like they spelled that wrong. With with ship mounted mass accelerator accelerator fire. Registry is a private owner, Captain Willem. Defoe. A faint trail of radioactive, radioactive particles, possibly exhaust from a sublight nuclear engine drive, leads toward the nearby planet of Zawin. And now we can land here. Before we couldn't land here. <laughs> it is. It was just like poop. All right, here we go. Maybe this is where Rex's armor is. Lots of snow here. Got something immediately to our northwest. Here we go, here we go. Gonna rock, rock, rock. I like that song. That's a good song. Ancient Debris. This fragment appears to be from an old model freighter. Part of it is marked with a chatty outpost insignia. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What about Thursday, Friday? I don't know, but I want to rock. Let's get moving. Bow, bum, ba -da -down, dum, ba -da -down, Let's go southwest, was it? I want to rock. Rock. Turn it down, you say. I'm going somewhere where I'm not supposed to go. They knew. No, no, no. Ba, ba, ba. You need to clean? You, what do you need to clean? Ah! They tricked me. Woo! Oh, I still got hit anyways. Oh gosh, are we dead? Oh my goodness. That was a close one. Oh no! That was a very close one. Come 
Come on, get it. It went back in the ground. You dead now. You dead. Yes. Almost 50,000 credits. You need to clean me room? I, I gotta clean the basement down here. At some point it would be nice to use a camera again, but we are not close to being camera ready down here. <laughs> Things like um, the basement became kind of like a catch-all for a bit. And this is like where I work too. Let's so become a little bit of a mess. It's probably not like too, too messy. But I'm a very tidy person, so it drives me crazy. Um, we actually have to go through and uh, sell some, some pieces of furniture and stuff we got here. That we don't need anymore. I've also been donating a bunch of stuff. Trying to make room. I do not like clutter. I'd really like to see if this is where Rex's armor is going to be found. Like... not here it means it's it's somewhere where the main story is sure hoping it's not all right oof wow whatever they just hit me with was uh whoa Uh oh. This is dangerous here. That said Alliance Heavy Turret on it. Hmm. So I wasn't killing Gep there. All right. Who, who we got here? Are they dead? Whoa. Don't know who that was. Killed them way too fast. Mercenaries. Man, Krogans can take some hits, dude. Oh, hi, kitty. What are you doing? There's one right up there. Can you hear my cat? <laughs> He's being really, really loud right now. I'm watching a guy do a bunch of food challenges from restaurants and I don't understand how or why he can do this. <laughs> um, I've seen some people doing that stuff and it's kind of like, huh? Like, yeah, like, why did you think of doing this for one? Yeah. And then also like, they tend to be these really tiny like people. And it's like, how are you not dead? You hear meow meow? Yeah, she's walking around. She's she's waiting for me to be done stream so I can go feed her. 
She's also really, really loud because um, she's deaf. So. Kind of like what she always does is just meow crazy loud. Ever since she uh, went deaf. Karpov 7 and Crossfire 8. Whoa, Crossfire 8? Let's see. Oh my gosh! That is an upgrade for sure. Uh... Oh my gosh. Oh wait. Uh, um 280 damage. Arm an armag oh, that's not that's not what I put on. Oh no. Ammo upgrade. Incendiary rounds, polonium rounds. I like cryo rounds. Rail extension, it could stabilize her. Wow, we have almost 2 million credits. Oh, you, you have two cats? My dog is getting old, his legs are getting bad. Oh, spend some. I should at some point, but I'm hoping that like I'll find a lot of the gear that I need. And the game, I'm playing on normal and the game is just ridiculously easy already. I could up the difficulty, but I don't want this to take forever. Like, I'm pretty sure we're pretty good uh, ways through the game already. Ko Kovalyov? Captain Willem. Anomaly identified. You have uh, discovered the corpse of Captain Willem of the MSV Majesty. His stiff fingers are wrapped tightly around a small data pad. Took the data pad. Okay. Computer console. Okay. Or give me some? I I would, but I don't know how good space bucks um, are on Earth. Unfortunately. Anything hiding back here? No. All right, let's go. Okay. We are okay. I we've gone. I think we've gone here. I don't think we've gone here. Hmm. Let's go west first. Like I'm a big dude, but I can't even eat close to this much. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wonder with uh, some of those people if they just end up throwing it up afterwards. Like, I don't even know the name of the person that, that, uh, we've watched, but it was this girl that ate, like, the largest pieces, piece of pizza or something. I think she was in Australia or something, maybe? I don't know. Palladium. Yeah, they just go home and cycle their stomach uh, or uh, of all contents. They they must do something. Um, the girl that that I've watched though is um, and like I didn't do it on purpose. Just I saw a giant piece of pizza and she's like, "Can I finish this? Only this many people, or this percentage of people can finish this." And I was like, "No way!" 
and I watched it and she ate the entire thing. This beacon was a geth trap? What? Okay. It was a tarp. Well, there we go. I guess there's nothing for me to actually get from it. No. It's just blue. Dabba dee dabba die. They have a portal and they're telling me that teleports the food away into another dimension. <laughs> Could be. Could be. But yeah, like it, like, uh, like I was saying that, um, like this girl looks, looks like, you know, she wasn't like overly muscular or anything like that, but it, she was pretty lean and muscular. So I'm like, oh, I wonder if it's just like, you know, she burns those calories quickly because she's like a runner or something or just works out a lot. I don't know. But yeah. It's it's hard it's hard for me to watch too because like this piece of pizza was giant like huge and just the way she was eating it too I was just like oh, this just looks disgusting <laughs> like the way the way she's eating this thing but hey um, like she didn't beat a record or anything but she was able to do it in um, one sitting. And like she's got a bunch of other videos, but I've never been brave enough to watch them just because I was like, mm, I thought I was going to see like this delicious pizza pizza or something. And it was just like insanely huge. It was the size of like an extra, extra large pizza just in the shape of a slice. And it, it was like a meat lovers pizza it had, it had like all the stuff on it i'm like oh my gosh it's so heavy oh did we already get this okay we got this already i think we got that when we first got here let's go to the west you could eat it you think so i don't know man i love pizza although i can only ever eat like two or three pieces of pizza <laughs> At, at best but um I don't know man it was like enough to just like make me sick it's almost like so I lived in Miami for like a short period of time uh it's been almost 20 years and um my cousin and I went to some place I forget I forget where it wasn't in Miami but it was like near there um and the name of the place was Cheeburger Cheeburger and if you ate this giant burger that they had um you got your picture up on the wall and my cousin did it and it was just like dude like that <laughs> like and like he was like whew afterwards he's just like dude that's rough <laughs> but he got up there there ap appears to be no one left at this camp the generator is still functioning but there are no signs of the former occupants the camp's computer notes several locations of interest hmm uh looks like a beacon Okay, and now I think we have to go south. Pretty sure that's what it was referencing was the places uh, that are are the anomalies. Ever since I lost weight, I can't I, I can't eat much anymore unless I got a super hungry day where I eat like four meals. Yeah, it's it's interesting too. Like the older you get, I feel like your body tends to know, you know, like this is actually what I need. I don't need any more than this. Um, and that's kind of like where I feel like I am where, you know, my body tells me like, sure, that would be good, but you don't really need it. It appears this person was trying to mark the nearby mineral deposit when he died or was killed. Man, that's it. Come on. Oh. Where's that mineral deposit? Oh, right here. A 
Iridium. But yeah, like what I what I tend to do is usually like if I'm just like feeling like, oh, I just want to eat something and I'm not really hungry, I'll tend to just try and find something else to take my mind off of it. I rarely eat things now without my stomach hurting that much. I would that much. I would want to cry. Huh? I barely eat things now without my stomach hurting. Oh, oh, you get pains. Oh, man. What well, sucks? Can you drink pl plenty of water? I don't drink enough water. I always tell myself every day today's going to be the day where I'm going to drink a lot of water and then I don't. And it stinks because I'm on the phone all day for the most part. So, but what tends to happen is that I'll get into a meeting and then get a call and a call and then another meeting. And then, so I don't ever get to leave my desk. And some, sometimes like if I, if I realize it, I'll make myself get up and I'll just wear my headset upstairs to get water or something but for the most part it's just I forget and I lose track of time but yeah I, de I definitely don't do well drinking water I'm a very bad example one of those things that we keep on telling our kids to do make sure you drink plenty of water make sure you drink plenty of water and uh even my wife isn't very good about it either Like tonight, I really should have had a uh, cup of water here with me for streaming, but I, I don't have one. I did drink a uh, fruit juice though, so I got got my fruit vitamins in for the day uh, a little bit before stream. Yay for at least doing something. I think I think we're done here. I wonder if Rex's armor is just on one of the places where um we have to go for a main quest. I think we got this already. Pri privateer base. The raid palladium deposit. Bring wreckage, crash probe. We we went in there, right? Not because of my good sleep schedule. I get so tired around uh <laughs> around what time yeah we went there already around 10 o'clock <laughs> same like right now I'm getting pretty tired hey, well it's 1040 right now let's see can I knock that over nailed it all right I guess I guess we're done here you like you're falling asleep in your chair but don't, but don't you get up pretty early? I I usually feel best if I get like seven hours of sleep. Like I'll I'll get off stream now. I'll probably fall asleep in like an hour, and then I'll wake up at like between seven and eight. But yeah, I am gonna get going because I gotta wrap things up for the night. I gotta make sure I got things together for tomorrow. But um.